I don't think Anthony Weiner's a fool. No. He's a fucking man. He's not a fool at all. He's the Mac yeah. Daddy. He, he's not taking <laughs> yeah. any guff. No. no. He doesn't care if it's fucking Rosh Hashanah. He's going to yell at some Jews. <laughs> yeah. Well, the he Jew care. kind of made a comment about his uh, Arab did. wife. What did he say about his wife? I don't know, man. Was, it, was that what it was? It was something about That's his Arab wife? Yes. He took yeah, a little yeah. shot at Anthony Weiner's he wife, said, who's Arab. He said something like, oh, you married an Arab. You married an Arab. That's exactly oh, what started. And, and then that guy, I saw that argument. I didn't hear that remark. What a cunt that guy is. Well, and there were some uh, news agencies that edited out uh, the beginning of the argument and just made it look like, you know, Anthony Weiner was oh, yelling at some Jews. Yeah. yeah, he had to put it out himself so yeah. that the whole tape was... Get the whole out. tape in context. Right, That's we what, got the tape. Yeah. Yeah, Anthony Weiner... Um, he rocks for not stepping down. It makes for some excitement. Yeah. And uh, he bit into a honey. What did he bite into? They said a honey. Oh, uh, fuck. What was it? He's at a pastry shop. Uh, was it a kosher pastry shop? A honey shop? bun? Uh, I don't know. if uh, Some kind of honey bun, sure. But they said the exact uh, thing he bit into. Because part of the problem, Anthony Weiner said, this guy waited for him to bite into his his honey bun. Oh. So Anthony Weiner's mouth was kind of full, uh, so it made it a little tougher to argue with this guy. Aha. Uh -huh. So uh, do, is, this is the whole argument, not the edited version? It's the whole argument, and it also includes Anthony Weiner ordering some pastries. Oh. Okay, so we'll find out what he ordered. You're right, the media exactly didn't right. show the rest of the argument. No. They didn't show no. Anthony Weiner and him yelling. Yelling. The, 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 the one I saw until uh, this morning was Anthony Weiner was pretty much on the outside. Yeah, yeah. this is before yeah. all and that. And then went, everything. okay, what? Oh, you, you, you waited for me to leave, or you waited for me right. to whatever, and then went back in the store, but I didn't know what started the argument. And this, uh, this clip is much better because it, it shows you how the argument started with mm -hmm. Anthony Weiner, who's trying to become the mayor of New York City. <laughs> sweet limit. It's like you're going to break the sweet meter. Oh, this is delicious. Can you help with me? <laughs> Please, we got paying customers here. Get to work, look ladies. Look how many people have waiting for you. Look how many people have waiting for you. Waiting. You got a white collar welfare recipient. Exactly. A white collar welfare recipient who's having honey cake. Uh, well, let me get something. How about a little honey? Yeah, honey cookies. Mm -hmm. Melt honey cookies. All right. I don't want to cut the line, but let's see what I'm going to do with this anyway. Thank you. Gentlemen, uh, uh, thank, uh, you. Uh, thank you very much. Pause. This is a very Jewy place, huh? Wow. And it's that guy, by the way, in the blue shirt. Yeah, I know exactly counter. which guy it is. Yeah, the yeah, fat yeah. guy. Who, and Anthony Weiner's is right. That guy's an absolute fucking cunt. Yeah. But he's standing right there. The guy, what was he going to wait till he walks away and starts talking shit? Yeah, that's what he wanted to do. Yeah, he made his little comment as uh, Weiner was leaving. But, yeah. Uh, what a, wow, very Jewy. Very. Where is this place? Of, uh, Somewhere in uh, Brooklyn. Yeah, I think it's in Brooklyn. Okay. You know, it is Rosh Hashanah, so. Yes. All right. Oh, you want a lot of moves like this. Yeah, right away. Hello. This is the honey cookies. This is the honey cookies. This one right on top. I don't know if I have one of those sandwiches, though. Yeah, just cut it square. Give me a bite. Yeah. Chewing, ordering. I said chewing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, the guy he has the argument with is ordering in front of him. Yeah. And then Anthony Weiner's next. Hey, ladies, you doing all right today? They don't care how business is. No. They're getting paid eight, eight bucks an hour. <laughs> I'm in business. Let me get. He's eyeballing that guy. Did you see him? He gave him an eyeball right there. Wiener did? Yep. Let me see. Go He's back. He's probably already heard. I think the guy was blurting some shit out He probably earlier. was mumbling under his breath yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He eyeballs. Look at that. Yeah. He eyeballs this fuck. Yeah. He's going to fight somebody. Oh, he's it's Anthony Weiner. It's to the point where I think a brawl. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Especially when he knows. Well, he's out of it, but when he knows he's definitely out yeah. of it. He's going to start fighting. Oh, boy, is he going to start Look fucking Look at the throwing. contempt. Oh, he's going to start treating the public the way politicians want to treat the public. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Do you know how many guys have wanted to do what Anthony Weiner just didn't yell at this guy? Yes. Right. Yeah. There's nothing to lose. That's why this is great. Look at this. Look at this look he gives him. Yeah, he's oh, eyeballing man. him. He's shooting him this look. You know what? I didn't even see this version of the video. Yeah, this yeah. is really long for Wow, him. that's a fucking... Yeah, he's he doesn't like this guy. Go ahead. Hit All right. It. 
making his way around the counter. I need this, and also if you have a small iced coffee for me, it'd be terrific. Thank I you. Have ice coffee's in the fridge over there. Okay. Oh. Will you guys grab one of those for me? Oh. Yeah, no, nothing. Where, wherever the caffeine is you took out of the decaf, pour it into mine. You want to uh, give me your uh, phone number? I got these honey. <laughs> I'll text you. The chocolate dip honey cookies with honey in the middle. All right, with the honey. They got a bit of honey in them. They're a bit sweet. But this is what you do. You eat sweets for the for the New Year. Okay. That's all I got. Yes. What do I owe you? Well, how did you know I wanted cheese Danish? Oh, let me just have one of those just while I walk, since this is wrapped up. He does seem like an insufferable prick, though. Anthony Weiner, yeah, 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 Pause, yeah. 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 He, he yeah. just yeah. comes off as like, even the way he's just talking to these ladies he, that are behind the counter. Like he was like, "Come on, ladies, there's customers waiting. Get to work, ladies." He, he's full of himself, and he's like, "All right, I'll give that to you. Give me that for the walk." And I, like, there doesn't seem to be anything soft. A n- nice no. or sincere about he's this guy. He's not a very personable guy. No, no, he's a fucking just a a fucking miserable man. It looks. It yeah, seems like. but he thinks he rules. Oh yeah, <laughs> he, he walks through life thinking he rules. He's really happy with himself. Yes, oh, yeah. at all yeah. times. And that arrogance was his undoing. Like that's why he would send yes. those ridiculous body pictures from the congressional gym. Yeah, like you are what a dope. But he really thought he's stunning. Yeah. Yes. It's oh, like yeah. you're weaselly looking. Girls want to fuck you because you're a politician. He right. believes he's a true treat. He thinks he's a gift. <laughs> yes. A he's real a tra- a a treat. Catch. Yeah. A catch. Even if I wasn't a politician, who wouldn't like right. this? Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yuck. Uh. Oh, no, 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 not the big one. Not no, no, the big. No. I just need a little one. Give me, just give me a little one. Just a, just a nosh while I walk. Nosh. Because I have to keep my hands free. How are you doing, my For friend? For brawling. Here, my friend. Very nice to see you, my friend. What, what's the question? No, we are trying to discuss what do you do if you should get a little discount on us. I don't know, Mr. I mean... Wise, Mr. Weiss, uh, so how much is going to be I think he's taking on that chicken in the middle. Can he get a little bit discount? I want bust out retail. I want. I don't want anything special. Mm. I want anything special. Pause. Any discount, give it to a friend. Please, give there's me. three girls looking at him right now. Yeah. I think at least two would, would have sex with him. Yeah. yeah. You think? Yeah. Look at how they're looking at him. The one in yeah. the middle, yeah. Google yeah. eyes. They're all like, oh my God. That's the guy. That's the guy. It's the guy with the dick. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's him. He's the guy that has that dick. Right. <laughs> and he loves using it. He loves taking pictures of it mm-hmm. and sending them. You can eat my honeydew cake anytime. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God. Look at these ladies. Yeah. They're dripping. Sexy pastry talk. <laughs> right. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> you want to nosh on my cheese danish? Yeah. Oh, how about you nosh on this? I need my hands free. <laughs> right. When I'm noshing. That's right. To text and finger. Yes, you know, yes. To tug. Text to reach around. <laughs> oh my God. They're looking at him like, fuck, they would definitely go there. And then I guess he is a treat. Oh, he is. (laughs) And then that fat friggin' Jewish guy down the counter is just disgusted that no one's looking at him. I give the guy credit. He's yeah. trying to be cool, and he just finally couldn't help himself. Because, you think that's what it is? Maybe yes, because kind of, Wiener's nah, been in coward. Wiener's been showboating in this fucking pastry shop for. I mean, we've been watching this video for five minutes already. Yeah, and that guy's trying to keep it to himself, but then couldn't help it in the end. I didn't know he went after his wife first. So that was like a that. This is about more than Anthony Wiener being like a pervert. This is because this guy's a hardcore Jew, and he doesn't like that he married an Arab. Like yes. that's why this guy. That, that's why this guy's a fucking then, cunt. Well, then he brings up some of the other stuff. It, yeah. 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 Yeah, directly. Yeah. I think to save face, the guy is like uh, brings up the other stuff. I don't yeah. think the guy cares about the other stuff. He cares that he fucking married an arrow. Well, uh-huh. let, let's see, because uh, we're getting to that point finally. Oh boy. Ooh. He looks like he needs it. Thank you. <laughs> just, just charge me with your word. Charge me the regular thing. The regular thing. Oh. Are you the boss? They keep looking to you for advice. What is it? How much? Is that really what it is? If you want me, I'll make it for $30. Did you get my iced coffee also? Oh. No, you forgot that. Did you take it for the iced coffee? Oh, you see that? He's just like, uh, no, it's all right. You're a little busy. Like, all right, like I got him to get my iced coffee. Oh, God, I hate him. Wait, who? He fucking didn't give him the two bucks. Oh, he didn't tip the girls? He took the change and put it in his right pocket. <laughs> I t- I- 
Yeah. I tip all the time because these these people are fucking. That's grunt work. He goes, no discount, but I'm also not tipping. No, go back. That. No, but he's, oh. that's yeah. It's that's two what he lousy did. bucks. You leave the two bucks. Didn't he? Uh, he just made them charge him for the iced coffee. Oh, did he not tip? Wow. And he didn't Watch, go it. back. He puts the money in his pocket, and, and he's a politician on top of it. Well, There's the definitely a tip for... jar in front, in, right next to the uh, the register, most likely. Listen to the way he asked for the iced coffee. Right. Well, I think he's asking if they charge for it. Did you oh, get my iced coffee? Not right. did you get it? Did you physically get oh. it? But did you did you right. ring me up for it? Oh, okay. One of my biggest pet peeves living in New York City is watching all these people take their fucking change back at joints like this. I go to a juice store where they, you know, that's inappropriate. That's oh, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't jump on that one. Clean up. <laughs> <laughs> like like a couple of Nazis. <laughs> yeah, but at least you said it funny. He's in a juice store, and I was like, well, technically, it's funny you should use wordplay like that. <laughs> fucking meandering idiot, I am. <laughs> It's not a huge deal, but I go to a fresh juice pl uh, juice place. Excuse me, and it's a pain in the ass. It's grunt work. They have to get all the vegetables, and and, and it's it's not a fun job. I and I see these it. people while I'm waiting online taking back thirty cents, fifty cents, forty two cents when there is a tip jar right there. It's like, what, really, you can't leave the fucking change. If everyone leaves the change, they get a nice little fucking Ooh. some nice pocket money that they uh, split up between themselves. There are some real chiselers. In the fucking yeah. city, man. Yeah, I'm not talking skates. like throw a five every time you get a juice or something, but you can't even leave the fucking change. And then here's Anthony Weiner showboating in this place. There's three, uh, uh, you know, uh, fucking grunt workers behind the the, the 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 counter there, and he takes his two dollars back. Two dollars after showboating, knowing all the cameras are on him. Go ahead, watch, watch him take the money back. Mm. <laughs> And the change. You got my iced coffee also? You see, she's no, making the change too, right? Okay, so it's very good. Okay, so it's going to be $10. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, ladies. Puts in his pocket. Ugh, here we go. All right, be well. Have a sweet year. Thank you. Uh, Look, well, easy guys. You're a real scumbag, Ann. Wow, very nice. Very nice. That's a charming guy right there. Married to an Arab. Oh, right there. Pause. Married to an Arab. Married, married to, to an, an Arab. Arab. Yeah. You're a real scumbag, Anthony. And married to, married an Arab. to an Arab. Yeah, that guy's a fucking fat, hateable oh, cunt. He really is. Wow. That's, that's all this is about, is he doesn't like that he's married right, to an Arab. Right, Wow. Is that bad? Oh, man. Some people would think, right? Oh, that fucking annoys me. And he did wait till he was leaving. Yeah, you're a real scumbag, Anthony. Married to an Arab. He did it with his head down, too. Yeah. yeah. Like, he didn't do it in his face. And then he talks, this is why I fucking hate this guy so much. Because then when Wiener's in his face, uh, which, you know, he, he uh, didn't expect to have to confront him like this. Uh -huh. The guy's yelling back at Wiener, but uh, then he's going, well, look what you did. You disrespected your wife. Like, Fuck you. You don't care about that. Yeah, yeah. You don't like that he married a fucking Arab. And that's sure all this is about. Disrespected his wife. You don't like his wife because she's an Arab. Wow. Oh, boy. Yeah, all right, let's see what happens next. We all know, but... Very nice. In front of children. Nice. That is charming. Disgusting, you're disgusting. Charming. Disgusting. Yeah, it takes one to know one, jackass. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Anthony. What's up? What's up? What's that? You wait till I walk out to you say anything. That's courage. We'll have a discussion. Come back in here. I'm not afraid of you. No, no, you're not afraid of anything. You do, you do, you do, you do disgusting kid. things. You have a nerf team oh, yeah. walk around in public. And, and you're, and you're and a perfect you're person? I'm not you're perfect. my judge? But I you're didn't, my judge? I didn't what rabbi taught you that? I didn't do what you What rabbi taught you that you're my judge? You're fine. You talk thank to you. God thank and you. work out your problems, but stay out of the public eye. No, I'm, I'm not going to stay with That's not for you to judge, my friend. Yes. I don't take my judgment from you, and you're I don't bad, judge you. You're a bad example That's for your judgment? No, that's obvious. Okay, no, that's why we have elections. That's why they have elections. And you're perfect. You're going to judge me. I'm not running for office. Yeah, yeah. I fucking hate this guy. He is a prick. Oh, God, I'm, I'm like watching this, and I'm like, I would love to fucking bite his fat yeah. face. He's also saying a lot of things that people are thinking, too, so. Yeah. He kind of finally had it with this guy. But you know what? I don't like in public. I don't believe him. I don't believe You don't believe the, the chubby guy? No, no. because the first, you're a real scumbag married to an Arab. Yeah. That's what starts that this whole fucking thing. Right. That's what pisses him off. Yeah. Why isn't he talking about the Arab wife here? Now that everybody's watching, yeah, go right. ahead. When the guy, and he knows, that, why isn't he fucking saying that now? 
Right. Um, meanwhile, they're arguing so close. You know that that fucking horrible honey bread with wiener spit is flying all over his face. <laughs> Wiener's still chewing his honey bread or whatever it is, and uh, you, you know it's got to be going all over this guy's face. A little <laughs> flicker of cheese Danish pops oh, out of yeah. his tooth, and no, I know it's cheek. honey, man. There's no cheese in the honey. I think he had some Danish. He took some cheese Danish he for the did. walk. Yeah, right, to nosh on. Yes, to nosh on. Oh, to nosh. You're right. You're right. You know who judges me? In the public. You know who judges me? I'm telling you. You know who judges me? Go visit it's with your immoral. rabbi. It's Go immoral. visit with your rabbi. Shows you how much you know. Think about, think about your wife. By the way, right? How could you take the person? By the way, close by the way, that is between me and her and my you, God, and not trust between you, you and betray her. That's not up to you. That. It's that's not up to you. It has nothing to do. It's obvious. You're trying to judge me because you obviously believe you're superior. Think about where you're not. Not only you're not superior, you are. You are not superior. You're judging me. Where do where do you get the morality to judge me? Because there's certain. Do you know who judges that me? Society has. Not you. Forget buddy. about anything else. Not you. Well, you don't get to I, judge I, me I, because you have shown no sign you're superior to me, and you are not my God. Has nothing to do with being superior. How do you get? How do you have the moral authority to judge me then? Because what you did is ask your behavior. rabbi. Ask your rabbi who has gets to judge me. To do with me? Ask my rabbi. I'm not judging. I'm telling you, what you did. Is you're calling me deviant. deviant. That's not Stay judging me. Sorry, you're going to sound great with Go hop that's on not that judging behind it. <laughs> yeah, da, yeah, da, 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 yeah, da. <laughs> Don't do judge me. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, Anthony Weiner did kind of. It's I guess like depends on where you are, but he did yeah, kind yeah, of. He yeah. sounded more Jewish than that. He sounded more Jewish. I, you're my judge. Yes, you're my judge. Okay, let's hear him a little. And get a job like yeah, By the way, else. by the way, uh, by the way, I fought very hard oh. for this community and delivered more than you will ever in your entire life. You never delivered anything. You know nothing. Or you know nothing. Your you ignorance has been shown for the entire my world. You no. think you can judge you me? You deliver for yourself. Baloney. I yourself. deliver for this community. Yeah. And you Baloney. understand yeah. something. I got to tell you, when you, you don't understand, that he, you don't that understand that money. Would you take your last time? Of course it's all. That's why I'm getting work in this community. Take care, buddy. Nice talking to you. Wow. That was a good one. Mm -mm. He's got to have keywords that stop him from cursing. Like, oh. he's got to train himself to say baloney. Baloney when he wants instead to say of bullshit. Fuck, yeah. Yeah, fuck you. Or jackass or, yeah. or buddy. Instead of yeah. fuckwad. <laughs> yeah. Hey, fuckwad. Hey, fuckwad. Uh, someone is uh, wondering if this is a setup. I thought that for a, a split mean? second. I don't know. Just no, to get some no. fucking. Uh, it is no. People aren't that good at acting. That guy is a fucking, just a mm. weaselly. Rick. Because first of all, if that guy would have, if that would have been a setup, he would have said he wouldn't have said anything about his wife being Arab. And right, it would have right, started yeah, that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. And that's if that guy had just stood there and said, "You married an Arab. I hate you for that." I would I wouldn't like him, but I'd respect the fact that he stuck to what was really bothering him. Yeah. This right. shit about how could you betray your relationship? Go fuck yourself. Yeah, he doesn't care about the wife. No. <laughs> Here, push play, because then he talks a little bit down the side. Oh. What? No. When I do, I don't back down. Joey, I'm sorry if I Hello, how are you? No, 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 he has every right to. This is America. But it is Arab Russia, Are you going to forgive him? Of course, of course. I don't hold it against him. How you doing, guys? Oh. That's what's creepy about him. Oh. How he could go back to normal so quickly. All he wanted was a nice little appearance at the bakery. <laughs> like, he goes out and goes, what are we doing today, guys? <laughs> well, uh, Anthony, you got the um, the bakery. We're going to go there. Oh, good. I'll go right. buy some uh, sweets there. We can do that. That's a good, safe place to go. Burr, if you're a scumbag, Anthony, you're married an Arab. I love oh, it. fuck. What happened? Let's go to Nick in Ohio. Nick. Hey, man, uh, he's sitting there bitching about being judged. He's running for public office. He, he should be able to be judged. He's being a little fucking bitch, man. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you are going to be judged when you're running for public office. That's really true. In that way. But th I think the other guy was coming off on more of a moral issue. Well, and it's like, it's like you know, ju don't judge my morality. You know, you could judge my leadership and even, you know, you could even judge my decision making or lack thereof if I'm running for office. But you can't judge the guy's morality. Uh, That's not it's not up to the guy at the fucking bakery. I'm surprised this, th this didn't happen sooner, though. Yeah, because a lot of people are thinking this shit. Well, sure. You know, I'm surprised no one confronted him before before now. Oy vey. Oh, well, yeah. they have here and there a little bit, but not nothing to this extent. At least mm. he got people to stop talking about his foolishness at the West Indian Day Parade. Oh, oh did we play that yesterday? Hey, Every uh, day it's something with Wiener. 
I don't think we played it yesterday. I love him. The second one? Yeah, where he's, uh, what? He was singing along or dancing along to a song that's pretty pretty graphic. A little racy. Yeah, he was dancing to a, a song about killing gay people. Oh, wow. But really? He, he didn't know it, though, right? No, of course, of course not. not. Are they trying to make a big deal about that? Uh, I haven't heard anything about it. I When it first broke, it was like, whoa, and then everybody was like, whatever. There's nothing he can do now that's really going to stick on him because he's got that, you know, the texting scandal and shit. Well, he's, like, they, you, you don't pile scandals on. Like, on well, it already like destroyed him, too, though. Yeah, he's I, done. that's just it. It's done. He's just playing it out. Yeah. He doesn't have a shot. We always yeah. wonder why they don't play it out. It's interesting to watch I now that it's it. happening. Oh, love yes. It. Love yes, that to it, see this why is being played out, and see so you know how happy Elliot Spitzer is that this is happening, because <laughs> preview. <laughs> first of all, but no, Spitzer is seen as a guy. But Spitzer was actually doing something illegal and fucking hookers. Yes, right? and you, then prosecuting people for it. Well, uh, uh, yeah, as we know the facts, what Spitzer did is way worse. A little fruit, ah! little fruit fly what happened? here on you, Jimmy. There's a fly. A fruit fly has been buzzing around me. I feel like that fucking. I'm, I'm in the bakery, and that fucking fat guy is around my head, <laughs> and I can't concentrate. I just keep looking. I'm like, am I losing my mind, yes. or is there something near me? Yeah, you went cross-eyed for a second. Buzzing. But the facts, as we know it, I th Spitzer, what he did is worse, right? Much worse. Okay. I would think much worse. Yeah. yeah. But but people are looking at uh, Wayner like he's more of the degenerate. Because they're yeah. more of a degenerate. I think it's because there wasn't a picture. Of Spitzer's genitals That's true. on the news. Right. So once you see a picture of a guy's dick, right. uh, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, you just can't control yourself. You want to see one of mine? No, it's cool. <laughs> Thanks. But you kind of believe, <laughs> just watching from the outside, you kind of believe that you know Spitzer you know, felt bad mm. and is kind of taking care of it a little bit. You think? And Wiener's like, he like, just, fuck you. He can't wait to figure out how to keep sexting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to yeah. figure it out. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I, I, I truly believe Spitzer feels pretty bad and sorry for what he did. And I don't I just don't feel it with Wiener at all. At all. It's great finding out about Wiener that he was like, well, I resigned. So, of course, I can keep sex. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, and he's fucking Googling, man, right now, trying to figure out how he could do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's going to find a way. He's this is going to be an app just for him. He's going to find an app and go, oh, this is what I've been waiting for. The guy didn't really do anything wrong. I know. No. He didn't do anything fucking wrong. Like maybe his, I don't know if his wife knows this or not, but maybe she just accepts the fact. Like, hey, who knows what goes on in their marriage? Maybe she's okay with it. Right. Mm. Yeah, but in that arena, being a politician and stuff, it's a little, it's a little rough. Yeah. We but we got some hoity-toity people that you know can't accept that that type of behavior. Yeah. I just wish that we would look away. Like when something like this happens, it has nothing to do with his voting record or his ability to serve the public. I know mm -hmm. it's fun to goof on. I love goofing on him. I, but he might be good for yeah. his constituency, and, and now he's not going to be I, able to do that. I can't vote for a politician when I know what their genitals look like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what their dicks you look like. I mean, there's just something weird about that. Imagine Clinton, and you go, oh, yeah, I know what his genitals look like. Yeah, what's his dick look <laughs> it's like? It's just a weird thing. How's his cock? Right. Hey, we, don't forget, we, 92 Clinton is the one that won a few more years. If Clinton uh, had... I know. Yeah. If he had the smartphone. Dude, he fucking, look at all these chicks that are lined up. He fucked him, I fucked him, I sucked his dick. Oh, I yeah. ate his ass, black ones, white ones. Clinton is very lucky. Because oh, he, was... he would have had a phone and thinking what he was doing was safe. Because yeah. let's not forget, what the whole Wiener thing started because he really did, just didn't know how Twitter worked. and oh, he, no. he had no idea. That's why he got caught, and right. Clinton would have uh -oh. been the same way. He said he got hacked. He Remember, he got hacked and <laughs> stuff, and he thought, yes. you know, a he DM said, was safe, right? He said someone yeah. hacked him. It was, a, it was a prank. Let it go. Yeah, mm -hmm. just let's all forget about it, okay? And then a no? couple of, couple of, <laughs> <laughs> and then a couple of shock jocks put his dick picture out there. All for the right, <laughs> yes, yes. I pissed off Barbara Walters, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, it did. I, I think story. about that every once in a while. Oh. What did she say? I, too, saw the picture and chose not to do... Okay, sure. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like, I saw the picture. She was I so mad it. that we were yeah. the ones that got it out yeah. there. I was too busy trying to fuck a married senator. <laughs> Didn't she do that? I hope so. <laughs> uh, Wiener, Wiener is a degenerate. Well, let this guy say it. He's, oh, uh, yeah. Joey, wow. he's from Jersey City. Joey... What's up, buddy? Oh, yeah, hey. Good morning, man. Hey, All man. Right. Uh, you know, I just wanted to say the reason why, you know, you treat Wiener worse than Spitzer is because if you forget, you know, he's been caught twice. 
You know, he mm. came out the whole, you know, after the first time, it was like, oh, it was a huge mistake. I'll never yeah, that's true. Again. And then, like, and then this Sydney Leathers cunt comes out. You know, it's like, you know, I don't know. You can't vote for a guy who's lying and cheating on his wife. Like, if he's going to do that to his wife, what's he going to do for his constituents? Well, I, I think, uh. I think, it, buddy, I think he, he makes a good point because after the first one, we we were moving on. We he really doing, were. Yeah, he was doing all right. In the and he went already. away for what? About a year, yeah. I think it was. Yeah. And, and then we find out that he <laughs> never learned his lesson and went right back to doing it. <laughs> yeah. That's bothersome, right. I think, for a lot of the people. He's a fucking moron. But, dude, you know, I mean, you're right that he was dumb to do it again. And, and this guy, I understand why this guy's saying that. But when you're saying because he cheats on his wife, would he cheat on his constituency? Oh, yeah, that's silly. Yeah, I'll tell you why it's silly. Because if we're that honest, dude, so many men, a lot of guys don't do it and don't cheat. But so many men do this type of stuff. And if all the guys who behaved like this were being honest and yeah. going, look, I've made that mistake. I get it. He would have a tremendous amount of vocal support if people were being honest. But people yeah. are not being honest, and that's what's bothersome. But, but he said all that, that he made a mistake, and, yeah. and then it turns out he didn't really learn his lesson. It shows that's habitual right. that really, poor judgment right, right. is what it is. If he, he said really, all the right things, he yeah. did a photo shoot with his wife when she was pregnant and all that stuff, and we're all thinking, oh, wow, man, all right, the yeah. guy is moving on. He's, he's dealing with his issue, whatever it is. And uh, then it turns out he never dealt with any of it. I mean, it does show poor judgment. Right. And, and yeah, he'd get support from right. people. But the fact of the matter is, you don't want a guy that's practicing poor judgment in charge of your shit. You Like, you don't care if the fucking, you know, your carpenter is doing that or... You know, right. but, well, well, that's, it? that's the thing. That's the thing. If he's going to treat his wife like that, who who he supposedly loves and and is his whole life and everything, taxpayers, he doesn't give a fuck about. Dude, but do do mm -hmm. fuck, you know, he's going to do whatever the fuck he wants. Do he's any of do them whatever know? he wants with his wife? He's not going. He's, he's going to do whatever he wants with the taxpayers. Let me ask you a question though. But do, they are all. Scumbag. I mean, right. you, like you're like, do they? Do you trust any of them? Like, no. Uh, like, no, like, think no, about no, Ob I, Obama. Obama's a guy who I, I actually don't think is cheating on his wife. He doesn't strike. He strikes me as a guy who's happily married. That's my impression of his marriage. Is that they're happily married, hmm. and yet his 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 base is disgusted with him. Like they thought he was going to do this. Can 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 people who loved Obama four years ago say that they trust him as much now? Or look what any of these guys have done with their fucking trust. They're all yeah. phony, dude. They're all oh, yeah, of liars. Course. This guy just did it with his dick on a cell phone. He didn't take the country into war when he promised not to. He didn't, uh, like Mark Sanford, f fly to another country. He didn't, like Larry Craig, try to suck a guy's cock in the fucking men's room and then plead guilty and then lie about it because he was embarrassed. His loss. You know, yeah, sure. I mean, you got to find a hole in the fucking wall already drilled. We all know the old tricks of the trade. But he didn't do a lot of these things. I mean, he didn't have anything to do with the Iran uh, Contra uh, that Reagan did. There's yeah. a million of these guys that live upstanding moral marriages that have fucked the country in their own way. Yeah, That's true. I don't think good, all good points, Jimmy. I yeah. don't think you could just look at things he hasn't done, and because he hasn't done a lot of other th bad things, you you, you kind of blow this off as not being a, a bad th and it's not a bad thing right. i understand that but it's again the the judgment issue it, it looks to me like if you're a a, a straight thinking guy and you're, you're thinking of the, the in your own best interest you know what you did you're getting a pass on it you're gonna run for office again you would think hey i better not do this again a and instead he thought I'm going to do this again. I probably won't get caught this time. I'm going to use a fake name. Um, I'm going to be fucking Carlos Danger and yeah. fucking. It just, it shows it all, poor judgment. It, was dumb. Yeah, it yeah. all comes down to him getting caught twice. Yeah. That's rough. It was yeah. dumb. Rough. I just don't think we should care about it. Like, that's what bothers me. It's like, wow, the guy's having some marriage troubles, huh? Yeah, who gives a shit? Like, like again, Kennedy is one of the most beloved presidents, and he was humiliating oh. his wife. He was fucking around. Robert Kennedy was fucking around. These guys are American heroes. Now They're let's zip up, up, fly, and go to Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Most likely, those two did way worse than we Oh, my God, Most yeah. likely. So it's like, it's been happening all the time. It's just the information is passed so differently now. And I understand how dumb he was to do it. But he, yeah. he, he's, he's kind of dumb for not keeping his nose clean. Yeah.
you know, the public pretty much accepted that, you know, he got caught doing this. He did everything right in the public eye. They were ready to move on. He was doing well in the polls. Yeah, I think he yes, was leading he was. Or, or very close. He was right there. He, he had was. a shot. Yeah. And then all this came out uh, showing that he never learned his lesson. And all that shit he was telling the public was all bullshit. And we know politicians bullshit all the time. And he tried but, to blow it off like, well, I said that these things would come up because I had done them. Right. Then he before. was kind of it's like, no, this is what you did after. Exactly. You he was. Still so, trying to fucking, you know, lie his way through it. It came off as a little wormy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like he was trying to weasel out of I something. I personally don't care, but I could see oh, why personally give a shit. potential voters would have a real issue with that. He'd be a yeah. hilarious mayor. Cameras <laughs> following this fuck around. I mean, I'm all in. Oh, God, I would fucking love it. Great mayor. Oh. Yeah. I wish we had a powerful fucking fan base like the old days. Maybe we could push him through. <laughs> we were able to push people through, man. That's we pushed the Big one. Brother dude through and some other reality stars over the years. We kept uh, Springer on Dancing with the Stars we, for a while. That was our last big accomplishment. <laughs> he just Springer. wanted to go home. <laughs> Remember, uh, he would beg us? Yeah. <laughs> That's a true story. Don't mention it. I'm, I, my leg hurts. <laughs> Remember, he yeah. said that. <laughs> he just wanted out. We're like, nope. You got another week weekend, you pal. <laughs> the fan base fucking pushed Springer. <laughs> oh god was that funny yeah <laughs> anthony wiener is the sanjaya of mayoral candidates <laughs> sanjaya yeah. oh god we didn't do anything Name with sanjaya i don't think no. yeah i'm trying to remember but, um, uh, well there's um the, how long until uh until the, i guess the rest of the candidates uh kind of give way to de blasio you think it's him huh he's yeah. running away with it he's got like 43 percent Next down is Quinn with 18%. It's just... Wow. Yeah. Which we know have percentage-wise? It's less than five now. It was five, and now it's like three or four. Wow, maybe. really? Yeah, he's just in the shitter. Well, he's got to find a kid with a big afro. Yeah. At the yeah. Blasio's Wiener. got his own kid. Wiener, right. what are you doing? you got to find a kid with a huge fucking afro. It's not even an adopted kid. That's his know, kid. That's huge. That is it's huge. huge, though. You can't fucking defend against a, a, a kid with a huge no. afro. Have you seen the size of his afro? Oh. Yes. Oh, it's huge. And you know, his father said, "You <laughs> don't you dare cut, don't that, cut afro that afro <laughs> until I'm elected." His afro shits on your afro. Right? Yeah. It is a it great afro. It. it really yeah. is. That's what put this guy over the top. Yeah. yeah. When that commercial came out, he goes, "And not just because he's my dad." Right. What? what? <laughs> I went like, "What?" <laughs> I actually said that. What? But. That's when he went flying up the poles, that commercial. Of course yeah. it is. Exposing his son with his the big, huge afro. Uh, Turns out the guy's married to a black lady. Yeah. You can't beat that. Yeah. Even now, uh, even uh, Reverend Al. I was reading a little bit. Of, you know, Reverend Al hasn't oh. endorsed. Uh, what's his name? His pal uh, Thompson? No. He hasn't endorsed him. And Thompson's <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? We've been friends forever. And, and Reverend Al's hinting like, yeah, I kind of like this uh, de Blasio guy. I like this de Blasio. <laughs> because the kid has the big afro. He saw the commercial. Yeah, Reverend Al yeah. goes, did he just say my dad? <laughs> right, <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, and I guess it's a big deal who Reverend Al decides uh, he wants to endorse. Well, that matters. Yeah, who cares? Anything yeah, like, amazes it's me. It's amazing that people care. I think uh, the whole thing's a joke. I hate politics. I like goofing on it, but I fucking hate yeah. it in the end. All right. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. What do you think Wiener's going to do today? Uh, Every day it's I something. Don't know. I'm with he's Sam. He's on a good though. roll. At some point, fisticuffs will be thrown. Oh, yeah. He's going to fight someone. He's going to fight someone. Where Wait. does he go from here? That'd be great. He just fucking decks somebody. Yeah, where does he go from here? After like, the, If he doesn't win, he's not going to win. But where does he go from here? What, what's next? Yeah, book and lectures, probably. Cable network. Yeah, maybe, oh, maybe a talk like show that. thing, right? Talk yeah. show, yeah, do a little news, shock thing. jock, shock, shock jockery. Yeah, right. maybe like a like a Donahue type talk show though. Yeah, it might yeah. not be a news show. You might try Where, to bring like, back no the, yeah, Donahue. You're or Springer. You're too Downey. No, thank you, Anthony. Oh, the new Morton you're too Downey. young. It's like uh, Anthony. You're. We saw you. You're very young. When you get yelling and stuff, we could put that in a show format. Don't give me that! Like he's yelling at the audience members. That'd be the name of the show. Don't give me that. Don't <laughs> give me that. <laughs> With Anthony Wieners. Don't give me that. <laughs> and when he says it, an exclamation point. 
It's like, really? You think so? Don't give me that. Woo! The whole place comes he'd, apart. He'd start off going, and then he like, he'd start off with the subject of the day, yeah. which would be, and then he claimed uh, that he didn't know that his taxes weren't paid, and he'd point and go, don't give me And the crowd yeah. would say it with they him. They show the crowd, don't give, give me that. that. Oh, that's so douchey. It could, it could work. The whole crowd has to oh, chant yeah. it at the same Chanted. time as the exactly. open. You could see him blowing cigar smoke in guest faces. Oh, yeah. Yeah, step up to the loud mouth. Uh, to be fair, Joe Hoff, 23, on the Twitter. He's a good uh, He's a good dude. He writes, Spitzer doesn't regret shit. He's a thousand times worse than Wiener, uh, who's a cartoonish uh, boob. Oh, Spitzer cartoonish is devious. Boob. All right. Well, fair enough. Well, one man's opinion. Well, he hides it better, I guess. I don't know. I, I think the, the two-time fuck up is the big thing. I think that guy's right. I know, but so many, even though I understand the judgment issue, and it was dumb. It's a dumb yeah. thing to do. But as a guy, if you're being honest, and we look at, not you, but like, yeah, eh, that's not like, that's not betraying the public trust. It's not my fucking business if he's doing that, because so many of them do it, and so many of them are snakes in other ways that are much worse. Well, they if, claim like, they all you have, do it and say that you still do it. Like, I agree with you. I wish we could do then, that. Then do that. That's right. our fault as a public yeah. for for looking for judging that harshly. If we as a as a public said, I don't care about that. That's nothing to me. Yeah. How did he vote? That's what I care about. Uh -huh. Then this wouldn't be an issue, and he could go. Ah, you know, I've had some marital issues. That's between me and my wife, and it yeah. would go away. But it shows extreme weakness because in the world he lives in, he knows this is going to be a huge issue with people. And he got away with it, and he couldn't calm the fuck down just to to get into office. Yeah, this is great. He knows he uh, knows all that. Yeah, yeah. I know. it is it is hard to defend. I mean, it is like a dumb I thing. agree with what you're saying, but he knows that this is would be a real problem if people f found out that he was continuing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and he continued. It was dumb, and it's all the little things too. Like Elliot Spitzer was what client number nine. He's, Client number nine. Oh, he's Carlos fun. Danger. I know. That rocks. Wow. Like, oh. What happened? <laughs> oh, my God. What That's, happened? It's a war vet um, behind the counter of a convenience store. Wow. And a guy comes in to rob him and puts a gun in his face. Wow. The guy holds the gun away, uh, down, and put, I, pulls the automatic out and shoves it right in the guy's mouth. Wow. Like, yeah, you're going to be leaving. Wow. I honestly don't think the guy wanted to use that gun, the robber. Right. Wanted to use it. He didn't seem very sincere. And and, and yeah, but the guy didn't shoot. No one shot, gun. right? No, no. no the okay. guy pulled his gun backwards when when the, when the vet behind the counter started reaching with his left hand for the guy's gun to cop. The guy pulled his gun back, and when he did, this veteran reached behind himself, pulled his gun out, and shoved it right in the guy's right mouth. His face. That's love great. That. Yeah. Oh, and then he backs out of the store. <laughs> yeah. Holy <laughs> fuck! Is that a great video? That is fucking great. The guy how, smoking. How smooth is the robber though? He takes one last toke of his fucking cigarette yeah. before he. Pulls his weapon. Oh, you know. Wow. It's like, I win. <laughs> There's your video of the day. It's going to be played everywhere today. That's so. fucking amazing. It's like Did fucking he... yeah, Grand Theft Auto footage. <laughs> Two white guys, by the way. Yep. Yeah. Did the guy uh, make Did he make the guy leave his gun or no? He... I guess not. He just made him back out of the store. Yeah, you just want to fucking, you know, remedy the problem for yourself. Get right, out right, of there. Right. That's wow. great. Though. Like, hey, hey, no, no. How about this? Uh, like I told the police officer, uh, if I would have actually seen the barrel of the pistol, they wouldn't be having to look for him right now. He'd already be dead. Yeah. And the policy there at the at that oh, liquor wow. store is just to give him the money, but you didn't do it that day. What'd your boss say about it? Uh, my boss uh, gave me permission to carry my weapon there when I was hired. Well, there you go. He, he, they, they, knew, they knew exactly what I would do. And, you, and they're and okay with it. it. All right, uh, John Lewis Alexander. Uh, thank you, sir, for yeah, your service. Yeah, he didn't see the barrel. He said, you know, you the guy pulled the gun out. Tell us your story. But he never pointed the barrel at the. Well, thank the you. Clerk. Have a good day, Steve. You so well. that's why he put it in his face and didn't shoot. He said, if he saw the barrel, if that barrel came up at him, he'd have just pulled his gun and fucking shot him. That would have been it. That's bye right. bye. Uh, good for that. That's but that's what that's yeah. the advantage to having a gun. It's like a legal gun owner. Yeah. Amazing. Stop the guy from fucking from robbing yeah, him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty. And he could have shot. Cool. By the way, if he would have just pulled his gun out and shot that guy in the, right face, in the face, he would have been a completely justified. Totally would have been fine. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Can we get Anthony Weiner on the phone? I don't see why not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have some honey bread, honey cakes? Got an idea. Yeah. Yeah. You'd like to talk to him? I want to offer up Sam Roberts. Why? For what? 
His, pretend his, afro? his fucking afro. I, I would say, love his I'm son. This could work. Your son. Anthony Weiner's long lost son. We pop a commercial on. Yeah. Maybe we should and we just. Go, and we go afro to afro, oh, man. man. Maybe we should just do the one. Big for showdown. Him. You're going to have to tease that thing up a little bit, though. Make it look fucking, like a real. Yeah, the yeah big, a real afro. Less dready. And we got, got some. We got, got darkening up slightly. A little bit. A little bit. Tanning booth. Can we do it with lighting? I Putting on the makeup is, that's where it gets touchy. Let's uh, call Snooky. Let's get Snooky in. Okay. Oh, Snooky and, and tan, tan mom. <laughs> tan <laughs> mom. Whoever she is. Right. Tan mom. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have them consult on this, but I'm thinking yeah. Wiener could use you. Weird, orange, androgynous right. kid. Whatever. <laughs> right. yeah. no. Stringy afro. <laughs> and then you could just be oh, sitting there, wiener. not just because he's my dad. Right. Uh, oh, that would rock. Yeah. And then we got we got two afros going at it. Yeah. Maybe I should put a wiener Death commercial match. together. Afro, yeah. Afro yeah. Wars. Yes. I'll, I'll help him. It. Afro Wars. Afro Wars. Should we bring it back? <sighs> <sighs> yeah, remember Afro Wars? We did have that. Up on first a first one made board. my career. Huh? Yeah, the first Afro Wars made my career. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean? It left me with this Afro. <laughs> no, Afro Wars goes way back. We had a bulletin board where we just collected great Afros, great Afros, and posted them up. It's like, oh, look at that one. Can we start it? Oh, uh, do, is this is the whole argument, not the edited version? It's the whole argument, and it also includes Anthony Weiner ordering some pastries. Oh, okay, so we'll find out what he ordered. You're right, the media exactly didn't right. show the rest of the argument. No. They didn't no. show Anthony Weiner and him yelling. yelling. The, 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 the one I saw until uh, this morning was Anthony Weiner was pretty much on the outside. Yeah, yeah. this is before yeah. all and that. And then went, everything. okay, what? Oh, you, you, you waited for me to leave, or you waited for me right. to whatever, and then went back in the store, but I didn't know what started the argument. And this uh, this clip is much better because it, it shows you how the argument started with mm -hmm. Anthony Weiner, who's trying to become the mayor of New York City. <laughs> sweet limit. It's like you're going to break the sweet meter. Oh, this is delicious. Mr. Help me. <laughs> Please, we got paying customers here. Get to work, look ladies. Look at people waiting for you over there. Look at people waiting for you. Yeah, you got a white collar welfare recipient. Exactly, a white collar welfare recipient who's having honey cake. Uh, well, let me get something. How about a little honey? Yeah, honey cookies. Felt honey cookies. All right. I don't want to cut the line, but that's the only thing I do with this head anyway. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, I don't know the line. Thank you very much. Pause. This is a very Jewy place, huh? Wow. And it's that guy, by the way, in the blue shirt. Yeah, I know exactly counter. which guy it is. Yeah, the yeah, fat yeah. guy. Who, and Anthony Weiner's is right. That guy's an absolute fucking cunt. Yeah. But he's standing right there. He's oh, going to start he's... treating the public the way politicians want to treat the public. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Do you know how many guys have wanted to do what Anthony Weiner just didn't yell at this guy? Yes. Right. Yeah. There's nothing to lose. That's why this is great. Look at this. Look at this look he gives him. Yeah, he's oh, eyeballing man. him. He's shooting him this look. You know what? I didn't even see this version of the video. Yeah, this yeah. is really long for Wow, yeah. that's a fucking... Yeah, he's, he doesn't like this guy. Go ahead. Hit All right. It. Making his way around the counter. I need this. And also, if you have a small iced coffee for me, it'd be terrific. Thank you. Ice cookies in the fridge over there. Okay. Oh. Will you grab one of those for me? Oh. Yeah, no, nothing. Where, wherever the caffeine is you took out of the decaf, pour it into mine. You want to uh, give me your uh, phone number? I got these. Honey, <laughs> the chocolate dipped honey cookies with honey in the middle. All right with the honey. They got a bit of honey in them. They're a bit sweet. But this is what you do. You eat sweets for the, for the New Year. That's all I got. Yes. What do I owe you? Well, how did you know I wanted cheese Danish? Oh, let me just have one of those just while I walk, since this is wrapped up. He does seem like an insufferable prick, though. Can't they win it? Yeah. 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 Yeah, he, he yeah. just yeah. comes off as like, even the way he's... I don't think Anthony Weiner's a fool. No. He's a fucking man. He's not a fool at all. He's the Mac yeah. Daddy. He, he's not taking <laughs> yeah. any guff. No. no. He doesn't care if it's fucking Rosh Hashanah. He's going to yell at some Jews. <laughs> yeah. Well, the he Jew kind of made a comment about his uh, Arab did. wife. What did he say about his wife? I don't know, man. Was, it, was that what it was? It was something about That's his Arab wife? Yes. He took yeah, a little yeah. shot at Anthony Weiner's he wife, said, who's Arab. He said something like, oh, you married an Arab. You married an Arab. That's exactly oh, what started. And, and then that guy, I saw that argument. I didn't hear that remark. What a cunt that guy is. Well, and there were some uh, news agencies that edited out uh, the beginning of the argument.
and just made it look like, you know, Anthony Weiner was just yelling at some Jews. Yeah, you, you had to put it out himself so that yeah. the whole tape was... Get the out. whole tape in context. Right, That's we what, got the tape. Yeah. Yeah, Anthony Weiner, um, he rocks for not stepping down. and makes for some excitement. Yeah. And uh, he bit into a honey... What did he bite into? They said a honey... Oh, uh, fuck, what was this? He's at a pastry shop. Uh, was it a kosher pastry shop? A honey shop? bun? Uh, I don't know if... Uh, some kind of honey bun, sure. But they said the exact uh, thing he bit into. Because part of the problem, Anthony Weiner said, this guy waited for him to bite into his his honey bun. Oh. So Anthony Weiner's mouth was kind of full. Uh, so it made it a little tougher to argue with this guy. Aha. Uh-huh. So, the guy, what was he going to wait till he walks away and starts talking shit? That's what he wanted to do. Yeah, he made his little comment as uh, Wiener was leaving. But, yeah. Uh, what a, wow, very Jewy. Very. Where is this place? Of, uh, Somewhere in uh, Brooklyn. Yeah, I think it's in Brooklyn. Okay. You know, it is Rosh Hashanah, so. Yes. All right. You want to my friend? There's a lot of moves like this. That's not good. Yeah, right away. Help. I know. This is the honey cookies. This is the honey cookies. This one right on top. I wonder if I have one of those sandwiches, though. Yeah, just cut it square. Give me that little piece. Chewing, ordering. I said chewing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, the guy he has the argument with is ordering in front of him. Yeah. And then Anthony How's Wiener's today, next. Ladies, you doing all right today? Yes. They don't care how business is. No. They're getting paid eight, eight bucks an hour. <laughs> I'm in business. Let me get. He's eyeballing that guy. Did you see him? He gave him an eyeball right there. Wiener did? Yep. Let me see. Go He's back. He's probably over. already heard. I think the guy was blurting some shit out earlier. He probably earlier. was mumbling under his breath yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He eyeballs. Look at that. Yeah. He eyeballs this fuck. Yeah. He's going to fight somebody. Oh, he's it's Anthony Wiener. It's to the point where I think a brawl. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Especially when he knows, well, he's out of it, but when he knows he's definitely out yeah. of it, he's going to start fighting. Oh, boy, is he going to start Look fucking Look at the throwing. contempt. He's just talking to these ladies that are behind the counter. Like, he was like, come on, ladies, there's customers waiting. Get to work, ladies. He, he's full of himself. And he's like, all right, I'll give that to you. Give me that for the walk. And I, Like, there doesn't seem to be anything soft a n- nice no. or sincere about he's this guy. He's not a very personable guy. No, no. he's a fucking... Just a a fucking miserable man. It looks. It yeah, like. but he thinks he rules. Oh yeah, <laughs> he, he walks through life thinking he rules. He's really happy with himself. Yes, oh, yeah. at all yeah. times. And that arrogance was his undoing. Like that's why he would send yes. those ridiculous body pictures from the congressional gym. Yeah, like you are what a dope. But he really thought he's stunning. Yeah, yes. <laughs> it's oh, like yeah. you're weaselly looking. Girls want to fuck you because you're a politician. He right. believes he's a true treat. He thinks he's a gift, <laughs> yes. a, a real gift. treat, a, a treat. Catch. Yeah. A catch. Even if I wasn't a politician, who wouldn't like right, that? Right. <laughs> yeah. Yuck. Uh. No, 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 not the big one. Not no, no, the big. No. I just need a little one. Give me, just give me a little one. Just, a, just a notch while I walk. Notch. Because I have to keep my hands free. How you doing, my For friend? Brawling. Right there, right there. Right. Very nice to see you, my friend. What, what's the question? No, we are trying to just not to be if you should get a little discount on us. I don't know, I mean... Mr. Weiss, so how much is going to be the I think he's taking all that chicken in the middle. Can he get a little bit discount? I want bust out.